Hey guys, Phil here, and this is a review of the Mudder Smoke Alarm and Carbon Monoxide Detector, model number JBSC03. You'll receive the detector, a pack of mounting hardware, and an instruction manual. The manual gives some helpful tips for placement in your house, but the English isn't stellar. The gist of it is, install this on the ceiling in bedrooms, hallways, and living areas, at least 2 feet from the walls. Twist the back panel counterclockwise to open it, and install a 9 volt rectangular battery. Twist the back panel clockwise to close it. If the smoke detector goes off by accident, you can silence it by pressing the center button once. It will stop detecting smoke for 2 minutes so you can clear the air in the room. To test it, press the test button in the center on the front. The alarm is loud at 85 decibels and has that piercing quality that's hard to ignore, which is what you want in an alarm. It will beep 4 times in succession for 4 rounds. This indicates that it is functioning correctly. If the LED blinks 3 times, the smoke probe has failed. If the light blinks 5 times followed by a short beep, the carbon monoxide probe has failed. If the detector emits beeps every 30 seconds, the battery needs to be replaced. The battery should be replaced about once every 6 months. It also appears that the smoke detector needs a fairly high concentration of smoke to be set off. I was unable to set off the alarm using a candle or cooking normally in the kitchen. Usually my oven sets off my other smoke alarm on a regular basis. I won't be able to test a carbon monoxide detection since applying large doses of CO to it is dangerous and could damage the sensor, which would defeat the purpose of testing it. Just note that many CO detectors are designed to go off after long periods of exposure to high concentrations, usually over 150 parts per million continuously for 10 to 15 minutes. Note that the service life of the carbon monoxide sensor is 3 years. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and join me next time.